Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 26 of KMB Coma Plays Minecraft. And uh, I went back to the Nether and ooh, what's that? I went back to the Nether and got myself a whole bunch more quartz. So I think the first thing I'm going to do today is spend some time mining out that tower. And the best way to get up on top is uh, to climb the bell tower here. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then later on in the episode, I'm going to go do some more work on the witch farm. Uh, we set out our perimeter, so I'll show you guys that. Um, we got rid of all the land on the surface, this water, like 150 blocks out on all sides. We haven't really spent any time lighting up caves or anything yet, but um, I'm going to work on the mechanics over there because I have... A good idea of how I think we should do it, and I'm not going to be able to make that jump. Uh huh. Well, I guess I'm going to have to grab some ender pearls. <laughs> I have a few. Oop. Yeah, there's no way. I thought it was closer. Uh, don't die. Okay, I'm going to get some pearls, and then uh, we'll be back, and I'll start mining that out. Okay, I'm going to see if I can make it from here. I think that might be too high, but we'll find out. And I haven't had a lot of practice with these, so... That came up way short. <laughs> good throw, good throw. Alright, let's try that again. Come on, baby. Oh, came up short again. This one will do it, maybe. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. I suck at this. I'll climb. So yeah, like I said, I worked out um, how I'm going to do the witch farm, and we'll get some redstone stuff going there later. Um, I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, some stuff from Doc M and um, a hopper clock that I saw Etho made, but um, yeah, I tried it out in creative, and it works really well, and... Uh, yeah, um, got to figure out how to build an item elevator. I haven't fooled around with those yet using droppers and uh, and that sort of thing. So that'll be something interesting uh, to work out. But I can't miss, right? Okay, good. We got it. So I'm probably going to have to... Uh, I am using the right pick, right? Okay, good. Probably going to have to make a couple trips down to do some enchanting before this is all mined out. And this was uh, about 17 stacks of ore. So, significant. I spent uh, probably two hours mining the nether and then, you know, I didn't die the whole time I was mining it. And then I'm digging back through the ceiling trying to get home and... Uh, I fell through the ceiling in the nether, fell to my death on solid ground, a um, bunch of fire beside me, and uh, luckily I had my F3 screen open, checked my coordinates, dug straight back to that same spot, and checked, fearing the worst, and I lost nothing, like absolutely nothing. I got literally every single thing I dropped back, which was surprising to me, but very welcome. Uh, so, wow, this gives a lot of experience. I'm going to have to go do maybe a couple new picks or some armor or something. Um, I haven't decided yet, but, um, yeah, let's get to level 30, and then I'll see you down at the uh, enchanting table, and we'll figure out what we're going to enchant. I've, I've got enough books to last me a while. I guess I could do some more books, but um, there's nothing specific I'm going for. I got my silk touch shears. And, uh, hmm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to enchant. It's a surprise for everybody. Come on. Pick it up. Get to 30. Come on. Come on. And I'll check to make sure I didn't drop any, uh, any quartz over the edge. This is very valuable stuff here. I'm going to need, I don't even know if this might be enough to finish up the, uh, Calgary Tower. Not sure yet. Need quite a bit for there for the bottom and the top. So, uh, yeah, we'll find out if it was enough. But I'm 
sure I'm gonna be going back there a few times. I found a nice area for mining. And yeah, so I did drop a couple. But yeah. I'll uh I'll see you at the enchanting table. Alright guys, so I decided I'm gonna do a helmet first. I don't know if level 30 is the best level for them. In fact, I don't even know what I'm trying to get. I just don't have a really great diamond helmet. So here we go. Uh okay. I'll take it. <laughs> well, that will work. If I need to do any underwater exploration, any underwater work, that will be just fine. And you can see I've resorted to eating baked potatoes. Oh, man. I ran out of uh, chicken at the chicken farm. And I, like I said, I don't have any plans right now to fix it. I did a little bit of uh, fooling around and creative with it. Um, no solutions in sight yet for the uh, the problems I have with it now. So, um, well, we'll figure out something to do. I might have to completely change it up, rip out a lot of what I did. But if that's the case, so be it. We just won't do that for a while. And I'll just come up with a, an alternate food source for the time being. Maybe I'll go steal some beef from Rom. But uh, I'm going to head back to the top of this thing and get some more levels. You think I can make it now? I'm really, really bad with these. Nope. Felt good. I meant to do that. All right, I'll see you when I'm level 30 again. Okay, I have uh, still got quite a bit to go on it, uh, but I'm level 30 again, and this time I'm gonna do a sword. The sword I'm using is just sharpness three, which, you know, it's okay, but uh, we can do better. So let's see what we get here, uh, this way. This is the way. I know my way around. All right, just over here. And wow, where did you come from? Huh, that's weird. No matter, okay, level 30 sword. Ah, slight upgrade on what I got. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go do some more mining of that quartz. Okay, level 30 again, and uh, I'm gonna do a chest plate this time, and it looks like I might have at least one more level 30 enchant in that tower. This stuff gives a lot of experience. Like, a lot. It's awesome. And, you know, it's useful for other things too, but mostly just the experience, I think. So yeah, uh, I'm doing a chest plate. The best one I have right now is just protection four. So let's hope we get something a little better. Uh, it's all right. We can find a use for that, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go get to 30 again and we'll be back. Okay guys, level 30 again. I'm still not out of quartz. Uh, I'm doing a quick pickaxe enchant. Um, ugh, wow, that's really terrible um yeah, I'll just sh shove it in there I don't want it um all right yeah so I probably got enough to get me almost to level 30 again one last time so we'll probably finish it off with a book enchant so I'll be back all right guys the quartz tower is gone um didn't make it to level 30 so I'll finish that off in the zombie grinder but I just wanted to show you the final haul this is all the nether quartz I have, so, um, you know, it looks like a lot, but turn it into blocks, and, um, it's not gonna last that long. Uh, hopefully it's enough to finish one project, maybe the Calgary Tower, I think it'd be good to get the looks of that done so I can take down the dirt pillar, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to need to be going back to mine a lot more, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head down to the grinder. We'll do that one last enchant, and then we will move on to the witch farm. All right. Level 30 again, and we're doing a book. And this will finish us off. What do we get? Uh, that's not too bad. I'll take it. I accept. I'll just dump this uh, zombie meat. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to collect some redstone materials, and we will head over to the witch farm, and I will show you what we've been doing, and then we'll build the uh, the killing system over there. I got it all worked out. Hey, where'd you come from? There are mobs spawning down here now that 
that never happened before. So uh, there were probably spawning spaces down there all along, but the more lit up I get my area, the higher the chances that I get stuff down there. So that's okay. We'll f work on that someday. But, uh, you know, so many things I want to do in so little time. So, yeah, heading to the witch farm. See you there. All right, guys, uh, I'm over here at the witch hut, and I've done a little bit of modification here. Um, in order to get the mechanics in for a shifting floor killing design, I've had to move that top platform up by a block, and you see I changed these out with, uh, with half slabs at the top of the block so that uh, stuff will still spawn. And instead of moving this whole upper platform up, I just moved up the part in the middle and I tested and witches will still spawn up there just fine so that's good. Uh, Rom and I also dug out a pit underneath here for a uh, just a simple drop trap so we'll just be dropping them straight down and collecting everything with just a bunch of hoppers down there. Um, so that's good. Uh, Biff and Necro and I spent some time up here um, clearing out all the land so um, you can see there is no land anywhere within 150 blocks and we actually laid out a perimeter here so you can see just off in the distance a few torches there and uh, yeah so we just laid out jungle wood all along 150 blocks out from uh, a point near the portal there um, and then we took out all the land on the surface so you can see this was all land before where I am here and uh, here's our perimeter don't break ah okay I broke my boat I'll just uh, make up a new one here and like so take that with me and yeah so took out some land there were a couple islands out there um, wasn't too difficult didn't take too long to get that done you can see the perimeter out there and and uh, the opposite corner from uh, there was the only other spot where there was some land okay yeah there were some islands here um, yeah I mean it, it didn't take that long you know wore out my shovel had to repair it um, from pretty much completely broken but uh, yeah, everything inside the perimeter is all water, so the next step is to uh, do a lot of caving. And, uh, you know, we still have some plans for some group caving for that, but um, didn't quite get around to it yet. Alright, here we go. We can see the other corner of the perimeter here. Um, yeah, this was a lot easier. It took, uh, you know, five minutes to take out the land here, and... Uh, yeah, so nothing but water inside. We don't even have to worry about any torches. It's just all water, all flat, unflowing water uh, for about 300 by 300 blocks centered on a spot on the little bit of land we left. Um, oh, geez. Okay, well, I'm swimming back to the platform. Uh, i got to get that redstone stuff together, and we'll start on the shifting platforms. I'll be back. Okay, so um, I got some redstone materials together. Um, got a bunch of pistons. Uh, we'll need some half slabs and stuff, but I can grab that in a minute. But uh, we're going to use a hopper clock for uh, this setup. So I'm just gonna whoops. I'm just gonna show you uh, what kind of clock we're gonna build. And Etho did a little. Uh, tutorial for this but I think it works really well for this application so we have two hoppers feeding into each other um, and then at either end we put down a comparator and then we feed that into a block like so some dust beside and then this is very important these have to be sticky pistons for this to work Regular pistons will not work, and it took me a while to figure that part out. And then we throw it on a redstone block. So that block keeps this hopper disabled. Uh, that won't push stuff into this hopper while it's here. And then when it switches, 
uh, this one will be disabled and this one will be able to flow stuff so that means we now have a clock that we can uh, change the timing on just by putting in different numbers of items so you can see every time one side runs out the signal goes off and it swaps to the other side and then we can uh, we can get a signal off here with a repeater or something like that so we can you know like I said um, the more items you put in the slower it cycles so we could even put in some of a different type I think and it'll go for quite a while before cycling so yeah you can see cycling down as soon as all this is gone this signal turns off that uh, dust goes out and this block this uh, piston will pull the block back and it'll switch to the other side so I think we're just about there yep so it switches and then you get you can get a signal off of either end whatever way you want it so that's what we're going to use for uh, for this and so you can see if we get it down to like okay we'll put like one thing in and it actually cycles pretty fast you can't get like a one tick clock out of it but um, that's kind of the only real limitation and the fact that it uh, causes a little bit of lag but that's all right uh, for this application we won't be cycling it that fast so I don't see any problems with that so we'll have to hide that uh, somewhere where it's uh, out of the light over there and um, I got all these other pistons and these will be going um, along each end so uh, you know we'll be going something like this and uh, yeah just place these all along and then we'll have to come up with a way of powering them um, without blocking any of the air blocks at this level here and same thing above uh, we'll have to block a couple for the lower level to get the power up but that's kind of unavoidable um, but yeah we, we don't want to block any anything on this level more than we need to and the same thing for the airspace right above that platform up there so uh, we'll have to kind of be powering these pistons kind of from uh, like the block below something like that we'll figure it out but um, yeah that is the next thing I am going to be working on so uh, I'll be back alright guys uh, I got the lower half cycling um, it'll be going a little bit slower than this I only have eight items in the hopper clock here but uh, you can see it's really easy to pull a signal off because uh, every time this comparator gets powered it pushes um, it it, uh, it it's kind of hard to explain but it powers off for a second and then um, hmm, I'm trying I'm trying to figure out how this works as I'm explaining it but it only has a quick pulse through uh, through this torch yeah what happens is there's uh there's always like kind of one block in here except for a split second where there's none so when that happens the uh this all powers off for just uh you know a couple ticks and allows uh, this torch to come on so uh so yeah i have uh let's see i have eight repeater delay on this side and I have one two three on this side so five difference and that's just enough to allow it to cycle back and forth once so that's that's good and uh, if I add say more blocks like say I have 20 in there it should work just the same I'm pretty sure so we'll just take a quick peek here and it'll just yeah it'll work the same just be yep just a little bit slower so that's good we can adjust it really easily just by putting in more items and then we can also of course turn it off easily just by uh, powering these um, these two hoppers so if we say just did this and a torch here that should uh, power the clock off yeah 
no longer going and then as soon as we remove that I think we're good again yep so yeah really really easy to use simple design so um yeah that's working well now the next challenge is to get power up to the second level there and uh, if I didn't explain it the reason we're doing this is because um, when you shift the floor under a mob like a witch uh, it will cause them to fall through it doesn't do anything for me like uh, if I go stand on this I don't believe I will fall through um, but any any other mob should uh, should fall right through this and fall to their death so uh, that's how that's gonna work and um, yeah I'm happy with the way this is going so far whoops that's wrong here just turn that off and uh, yeah so that's good uh, coming along nice so um, I'll work on getting power to the upper level and I'll be back okay guys uh, I think I got the wiring pretty much done I just have to close it on up now so you can see here uh, on this level we have just two air spaces blocked off um, lowers the spawning rates just a little bit we have one redstone dust on top of that half slab and one half slab and that is all that blocks that level uh, the second level we have if we get up here no air space is blocked around the edge and they will spawn up here and uh, I have everything wired up how I want it pretty much um, yeah, I got a piece of glowstone hidden above that to keep the wiring free of spiders. And uh, so you can see, um, so I have this torch here going to the upper level. Uh, and I want the upper level to fire first so that um, any witches on the top level drop down to the second level. And then uh, they get dropped through the second level after, right after that. So the top level fires first. We have this side going off first and we have just the shortest delay I could get on here while having the power reach everything so it's two repeater uh, delay there and then we needed five more here so we have four and three for seven so it'll fire these blocks across and then back over and then the third one we wanted to go was this one so we have uh, seven plus five we have twelve so there's four four and one that's uh, 9 plus another 4. That's 12. That is not 12. <laughs> I have an extra repeater that I don't need. Huh. Huh. I math good. Okay. 4, 4, and 4. That is 12. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then uh, 12 plus another five let's make sure I do this right 17 so we have four 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 and I did that wrong again so we have 16 from the three fours and then one more for 17 okay okay we got this <laughs> all right I figured out how to, how to do simple addition so uh, we should be okay yes so um yeah now the next step is to just block off all the wiring so that we're not having any stray light coming through so i just replace these half slabs cover this all up won't have anything spawning on there and uh yeah so that's good there we can cover all this i don't know can i empty this out no i'm out of space okay we'll have to leave that for the time being and yeah well let me put a couple things back in here and yeah we're just about done here I should probably disable this I mean we're done with the the killing system uh, we'll have to figure out a way to um, turn this on and off just running a wire up underneath here um, yeah that's probably all we need to do a couple torches right under these hoppers we'll turn them off so that should work for that and we'll run a wire underground and then uh, down at the bottom if we can see 
which we cannot. Well, I'm going to have an array of hoppers all feeding into each other, uh, feeding into one hopper pipe going over to the island over there, and then we'll have an item elevator bringing it up. So, um, yeah, I'm going to close this all up, and I can actually, yeah, I can close this up just like that uh, without any worries. And, um, hmm, let's see here. I don't want anything spawning here. So, yeah, that should keep spawns from on here. And then, um, yeah, that's keeping that airspace free. And then if we put another block, let's see here. Well, actually, that's going to be... Yeah, that'll work, because that still allows the power through. That doesn't block it off, and that doesn't uh, interfere with any of our air spaces. So that should work to keep spawns off of there. And uh, yeah, we should have no problem right there. Yep. Yep, that should all work out well. I think, I hope, we'll watch it, make sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish this off, uh, but I think we're going to end it here for today. So uh, this witch farm project's really coming along, and we're making some really good progress on, uh, you know, our resources in this world. So uh, I'm happy about that, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.